and have a curriculum based system. Okay, cool, like, like that. So you, you've been in, in coaching for, for a long time and working especially with keepers. What would you say is the one or two things that a good goalkeeping session must, must have? A good goalkeeping session must have fun, 100%. If it is just a session of drills and a coach is hammering them with like, get up, get up, get up, get up, but they don't have that fun with it, it becomes a chore. So energy, fun from the coach has to happen. Um, enjoyment from the keepers has to happen. And I always say this to every single person. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the kids in my school are getting ready for their lunch. Um, <laughs> the, I always ask three questions after every single session, especially with my clinics, because clinics are much more rushed than my camps, which is a full day. And I asked them three questions. I said, did you get a good workout? And they, almost everyone's like, yes, because I, we, we put them through a lot of footwork-based activities before we get them into the hard training. Then I asked, I said, did you either learn something new today or did you get better at something you already had? And 90% of the time I get, I get, I got better. Yeah. Or I get the new students like, I've never heard that before. I've heard it differently or something. And then the last question I ask is, did you have fun? And that is my goal. I have to have that for me. And that's why, because at the end of the day, we are choosing a position that's high pressure that usually gets blamed for the loss <laughs> yeah. that at the end of the day is standing in front of a ball that's being kicked as hard as possible that may hurt us. And we're choosing to do that because we like it. The mm -hmm. second you don't enjoy doing that anymore, you shouldn't be doing that. So I always stress making sure that the kids have fun. Another thing that I think every single class, uh, every single class, I say class because I'm a teacher, every single a program or training session that we do should have a plan. What is the goal of today? If you are just going to go out there and wing it, you're going to actually lose the goalkeeper that doesn't want just fun. Mm -hmm. So having fun is important. Even for the, the, the pro keeper or the semi-pro keeper, the college keeper, they need to have fun because they want to enjoy it too. But you're going to lose that mentality person if you don't have a structured plan. And they'll stick around for a couple, but they're gonna lose you in the long run. They're gonna go somewhere else that's gonna give them what they're looking for. And then the last thing is you have to meet them at where they're at and then show them what the challenge of the next level is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For instance, I, I coach a, a club where we have, they give me all their keepers at once. Mm -hmm. And I have premier level goalkeepers with a with goalkeepers that can't catch. Mm -hmm. How am I supposed to present a plan that's gonna push that pro, that, that premier level goalkeeper with a girl that is just starting as a goalkeeper because mm -hmm. she is younger and she wants to experiment. How yeah. do I do that? I have to have a plan that's gonna be able to hit both of their skill sets, but also show that I can challenge the, the little one that's learning, but also make the premier goalkeeper not feel like she's wasting her time. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's where I feel are the, probably the most important aspects of the goalkeeper training session. If you have that, you're really putting together a really good program. 